Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, Next Weather meteorologist Cindy Pressler is joining us now with mm -hmm. the latest predictions, right, from NOAA? Yes, NOAA just released its information today for the upcoming hurricane season. And really no surprise here. We pretty much knew they were looking at an average season with name storms anywhere from 12 to 17. The average is 14. Hurricanes, 5 to 9. The average is 7, so we're right in the middle there. And major hurricanes expecting between 1 and 4. 3 would be average. Now, there are reasons that they are saying this is going to be an average season and El Nino plays a big part. That is a phase that occurs out in the Pacific Ocean, but it has effects across the planet and it usually suppresses hurricane development because of very strong westerly winds. It has a tendency to tear them apart, which is good. We love that. So that kind of fa favors an average season or below average season. Um, doesn't mean that we won't have a hurricane though because there are other factors that say that are working against that. We've got above average African, West African monsoon season. That means we're going to see a lot of storms coming off of Africa and they move to the west. Plus those sea surface temperatures way above average. Unbelievable how warm this water is already. And you've got to have water of at least 80 degrees in order for hurricanes to develop. Well, we've got we've got that already out there. And Look at this, the Hurricane Center is already watching an area just off the coast here, only a 10% chance for develop. They don't feel that this is going to develop tropical or subtropical uh, characteristics. However, it's going to mean a really messy weekend, a holiday weekend for the Carolinas. We'll have really no impacts here. We are far enough south, so we don't have to worry about it at this point, but just want to point that out to you if you're heading that direction. We still have a few showers and thunderstorms. What an active day today, my goodness. We had a tornado an actual EF0 tornado that touched down in southwest Miami-Dade County with some damage. You saw there, Ted Scouten showed us that. Well, these little showers are still developing in Monroe County. We still have these outflow boundaries. I don't think this is going to be much of a problem here as they move east, but look at all the reports today. Hail, we had wind, we had wind gusts over 50 miles per hour, 45 there, uh, a little Haiti in the Doral area. Thunderstorm gusts 56 miles per hour, and now that is a tornado tornado, not a funnel cloud, but the National Weather Service says it's a tornado. And look at the rainfall amounts. Again, we did have some flooding as well on the roads. And if you're out there, out there today, you know. So this evening and overnight, we should calm down. And then tomorrow, well, here we go again. Showers and thunderstorms will develop again in the afternoon. They'll die down in the evening. But again, it's going to be another active day that we're going to have to watch. As we head into the weekend, I've got much better news for you. We've got drier air that wants to come in here. So that should start to bring in at least calmer conditions, spot showers still possible, and temperatures next week back to 90.